The crew of the space shuttle Atlantis fixed a bulky computer today and carried more supplies into the International Space Station. Although the final shuttle mission is scheduled to end next week, America's space age is living on at an art exhibition back on Earth. Bill Plant is our guide. New York artist Barbara Prey usually paints landscapes, but when NASA invited her to Cape Canaveral, she jumped at the chance. It was really up to me to choose um, what I wanted to do. Prey went to Florida to see a launch of Shuttle Discovery and to Edwards Air Force Base in California to watch the X-43, the fastest unmanned aircraft in the world. You want to do something different because you don't want your painting to be like everybody else's. Her X-43 is one of 72 artworks on display at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum this summer in the exhibit NASA Art, 50 Years of Exploration. This piece catches your eye the minute you walk in the room. You see this enormous astronaut, a life-size one. Um, it looks almost like a stained glass window. Bert Ulrich oversees NASA's art collection from Norman Rockwell to Robert Rauschenberg, from Andy Warhol to Annie Leibovitz. Rockwell's painting of Apollo 11 honored the 400,000 people behind the scenes who made the first moon landing possible. Artists got far less than they could if they had sold their work, but the payoff was a front row seat to space history. This was mission control in the 1960s. Unfortunately, you, you don't see very many women there. It's all male, sort of gray suits, thin ties, sort of very, very mad men. Now here's a color not normally seen in space. <laughs> Andy Warhol used artistic license to warp the iconic image of Buzz Aldrin on the moon. Clayton Pond imagined the space shuttle Enterprise meeting the Star Trek Enterprise. That never happened as far as we know. Nor have dogs flown the shuttle, but try telling that to artist William Wegman. The final liftoff of Atlantis on the shoulders of the space shuttle. Anybody who's ever been to a launch talks about the physical experience of it. Yeah. You actually feel the rumble in your chest. You see, you see smoke coming out at you. The artists also show what it was like for astronauts to fix the Hubble telescope during a spacewalk or to be rescued from splashdown. The triumphs and tragedies as when Space Shuttle Columbia exploded in 2003. That would be the launch pad right here. Barbara Prey memorialized Columbia in a different way, depicting its launch. I really wanted to capture something that was uh, joyous. It was their hopes and their dreams, and they'd worked their whole lives to get to this point. The end of the shuttle program marks the grounding of American astronauts and artists. NASA no longer has the money. So these pictures may be the last of their kind, at least for a while. Bill Plant, CBS News, Washington.